Hello guys, welcome back to another episode with Wademaya. So today, Wademaya shares some secrets to YouTube growth and also addressing the $40,000 monthly earning. And um, by the way, I'm Miss Chine Yangwa, so you guys should stay tuned as we get started. Like the random things you don't know about you. Um, yeah, what else? What else? Okay. I, I, I would love to tell you more. Okay. But I, I feel like I don't have more to say <laughs> about myself because I don't really like talking. About, unless maybe I see someone people are talking about me. Okay. That's okay. But personally, I'll tell you that all I know about myself is what I've told. Okay. If somebody else know anything else, you can add it to it in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, again, you know, as a YouTuber, as an influencer, mm. because you're an influencer, you've influenced so many lives. Exactly. So, as an influencer, like, well, how do you feel when people leave negative and nasty comments in this comment section? I mean, it's normal. Yeah. I tell people that if you don't have haters, okay. go to the supermarket and buy them. <laughs> if you don't have them, okay. go to the supermarket and buy them. It, because they help you grow. Listen, negativity on YouTube is the best. I'll tell you something like, um, there's so many people that I never knew yeah. until they started talking negative about, about other you. people. <laughs> like, negativity actually works okay. on YouTube. Yeah. You see, I'm a positive guy, but I cannot say all the time, I'm going to be positive, positive. Mm -hmm. I might travel, I might be arrested, I might be deported, I might be, all those things, I need to bring it up. You see, but I'm telling people that like, like uh, negativity among YouTubers yeah. is not cool. Okay. You, you okay. can, I can be your friend behind the scene, but in front of the camera, we we fight. I right. see we fight, but after that we just sit somewhere. Or more, then you <laughs> talk, say I do it. Okay. I mean, see, she's all these things are stunts. People just pull stunts just to just, just a help. I, I've seen people who does that. Okay. It's healthy. Really? Me, it, but this is what I don't see in the African YouTube space. Okay. If they are fighting on the camera, they are fighting on the background. Yeah, yeah. And that is not what we're looking for. I mean, I'm, I'm saying negativity works, but I'm not saying negativity on that negative. level. I mean, negativity, like you need people to give you constructive criticism. That some people will criticize you. Some people are going to drag and yeah, activation. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Some things. Like, I remember some time ago, uh, a girl, like a guy called me jobless. He called me like hopeless for going to university, having first class and coming mm -hmm. to be a YouTuber. And at that time, a lot of people started reacting to those videos. You know that that was like, it's a good thing to your name, you know what? At least you created it for class. Yeah. You to buy and and, and literally, I'm, I'm doing what I love. No, and it's the most important. I'm telling people here, yeah, I've met people in life that they didn't even go to school or to buy. Uh, in that's, that's, that's the back of my place. I mean, I was interviewing you, <laughs> I felt like, wow. Yeah, I think you see. So that, that is the thing. I mean, it, it helps. Talk about me, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll just take it like that. <laughs> Those days when I started YouTube, okay. I used to like anytime you talk about me, like I was even scared of reading my own comment. God, no. So what I do is like immediately I upload a video. You just go I just on my laptop like this and then yes. I just go offline and go and sleep. In the morning then I come and just keep a little bit and I say, Oh that's coming and I go. Okay. But now you don't be careless. I don't I don't care. I mean yo, I mean you can write anything you want. Because that's one thing I noticed about this on YouTube like when I join YouTube. Mm. When people drop that kind of comment, mm. they feel like this is a reaction. They yeah. just pick it up immediately and start reacting. You have to. Okay. I've done that before. So this is how I start. Okay. My comment section okay. is very, very important to me. If I tell you guys that I don't know what I'm doing in Nigeria. So many people are not, will not understand. Yeah, you said so. You said that coming to me, you like plan on staying for like just few days, but you ended up staying more than what? I don't actually exactly. Time. I don't know what I'm doing. All I do is that my comment section. It's very very. I much. don't cho like every content that you see on my channel is for my comment section. So one person commented and said, uh, "Like I like the way people respond to my comment. Mm. It gives her joy. Whatever people post, I click." Okay. So which means comments is very very important and, to and always be engaged with the people. Okay. I mean like me when I upload the video, my first one hour, okay. I'll be in the comment section. Oh, first one cool. hour, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to be there replying. The ones that I have to give them hearts, I give them hearts, mm -hmm. love, and then I do my thing after one hour, I go and sleep. But 
it's a must because you are building a community and they have to know that they belong to I mean a family. I mean I don't see any influencer that is so busy that you can't respond comment. Well that's if that's some challenges we face here. No, it's tough. Like you can't reply everybody. No, not everybody, but at least hacking is very yeah, important. Well, very important. Instagram I hardly reply. Yeah. But when it comes to yeah, YouTube this, because this is your main business. I don't joke with it. It's very important. And as a content creator, always search for the comment section. Okay. You find like how do I call it? Then you find comments to react, you find comments for the next video. Yeah. That's it. Like what I'm doing now is based on my comments it's in terms of like promoting African businesses. Before I was not doing that. Yeah, you I, so. I told you, like I was just traveling show streets yeah. until yeah, Corona time. Yeah. A comment so, quickly, see, among those guys that Corona did good. Co corona did good to me. Yeah. Like somebody commented that uh, um, yeah, you keep on promoting Africa to the world, but this facility that you're promoting is not for Africa. It's really striking. I mean, it's not negative. Yeah. It's the truth. Yeah. And the yes, truth yeah. just hit me so hard. And I'm like, wow, what do I do? Mm -hmm. So when the Corona was going down, I picked my camera just to go and talk to Africans that room that particular business and from there I did more stories and I, I was from 300,000 Wow, you just grew just like that which means Africans are ready to hear their own stories from an African and I feel like now people are seeing their various countries through my lens and Yeah, there's one guy who commented also I saw he said that after talking with you mm. he not picked up I said okay this is my country let me just promote what is in my own country just he said that, he said that when he was doing that he now found out that his channel grew. Mm -hmm. but, but you said something last night when I was discussing with you about like we Nigerians who do the same kind of content. Exactly. It's not even just Nigerians. Okay. It's an African thing. Okay. When they see this going well with this it's person, just... they jump on it. Okay. But that's not how it's supposed to be. Like I see myself in so many YouTubers. It's not like I watch everybody. Yeah, but see, we, we, will, we should have varieties of content out. Let's see. There are so many varieties of content that African content creators can mm -hmm. tap into. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And it shouldn't be that way. Okay. We should, we should, even if it take you years to build that particular thing. I mean, I keep on saying that like, content creation is like having a gold mine. Okay. You see, sometimes you don't know what your audience wants. Mm -hmm. so you have to dig. When you be able to mine that gold and know that, oh my goodness, this is what my That's audience so want. When you shoot one video of people, what? people like, you yo, like, like right now I sit here, anything I talk about, 100,000. Mm -hmm. Hey, those days, 100,000 is like my whole one month videos going together. But now it's like a one video. Yeah, and something, um, you said something about making up to $40,000 a month. Uh, that's what this girl was saying. I didn't know why she was saying that. Oh, I'm I mean, sorry. I, <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Like, you know, uh, people don't mind this. Uh, that, 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 no, no, I'll answer that. It's it's like a, it's like a clickbait title okay, okay. for, uh, what do you call it, um, Uche. Yeah. And I'm like, Uche, where did I say that? <laughs> uh, Uche, I, don't, I don't even watch it in this video. Yeah. Where did I say that? Yeah, so, basically, it's, it's, it's a clickbait. Oh, because please. everyone is like, Want to know? No, yeah. And like that was a very good title. Yeah, for it's and, it's uh, it's and you know, like that has to be something that we also need to think about, like mm -hmm. having titles that people want to click on. Mm -hmm. Like when I did a video in Port Harcourt, mm -hmm. I said the biggest real mm -hmm. estate in Nigeria. That is not the biggest. Yeah, people don't even know actually what the person, how the person reached to that level. I, mean, just, that like I just use the title biggest. But that is not the biggest. But in the video, I said the biggest import happened. Yeah. So you have to click on the video yeah, and go and find out. Yeah. So that's what we call clickbait. So there are two things or three things that will attract. Okay. Gambia will attract. Yeah. Carpenter with no university degree will attract. attract. Yeah. Nigeria, Nigeria. Will, attract. Nigeria will, attract. will attract. Biggest will attract. Right. So your, your you title should keywords. have keys. Yeah, the four keywords. That's no. it. So I always tell people, forget about the grammar. I'm just looking for my keywords. Okay. My keywords. Okay. Biggest. Best. Most beautiful. I need to, yeah, you know, you definitely need to give me a new, like a title <laughs> for this video. <laughs> <laughs> like when you have videos like that, okay. through different. So 
this today we put this because one like a long video like that. Yeah, people don't get to watch all of but this. Thank you for this. I mean, like for free. Yeah. And <laughs> um, yeah, again, because I'm really inspired by you. Mm. Because I've been seeing like so many YouTubers, especially all those big YouTubers, mm. they find it so difficult to comment. They find it so difficult to respond to people even when you send them an email. Mm. But you coming all the way from Ghana to mm. Nigeria, promoting young YouTubers like us, like yeah. what really inspires you to do it? I mean, I've been there before. Yeah. I normally tell people that don't even call yourself a small YouTuber. <laughs> call yourself a content creator okay. who can blow up in any day, any time. Exactly. You know, there's so many people that look down upon me when I started YouTube. Oh. There's so many big YouTubers, even with, um, let's say that time, they had 20,000, 30,000 yeah. that I was reaching out to so that they helped me grow. Oh, wow. I mean, not, I have so, so many. Yeah, because that's ridiculous. Like, someone you know, but because of YouTube, you beg them to exactly. help you share your exactly. videos, maybe give you a shout out. Exactly. It's so difficult. So they, was... they, 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 they did not. Yeah. Like, most of them did not help me yeah. until, like, I learned, I discovered, and then I worked so hard to come up myself. So, but when I came up myself, I just felt like, what do I need the numbers for? Oh. I can't, oh, oh what am I, 500,000 so, and so what? Okay. I have nothing to do with it. Touch lives, I need right? to like, yo, I have people, at least, you, you might never know the kind of impact that you will make in somebody's of life course. that that person will love and cherish you forever. Mm -hmm. See, when somebody wants to offend me, okay. maybe Uche alone yeah. can defend me. Do you, yeah, of course, she can. Because she gave her what she needed without being asked for. She didn't pay for it. She didn't contact anybody. Just because you told me like she left a comment that you find so impressive. That's so it. when you came down to Nigeria, oh. Okay, that's the Nigerian thing. Yeah. Like, you know, so I contacted so many people, okay. uh, but they did not respond mm -hmm. to me. But I just feel like it's a struggle yeah. to come out there. So if I have the opportunity, I have the chance to, I mean, support others, support others to come up. Yeah. Why not? And it's not. I'm not just doing this in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. I've done it's it in so many African mm -hmm. countries. Some of them don't even have a channel. We mm -hmm. create from the beginning. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so good. We create from the beginning. We create from the beginning. Yeah, because I saw that um, the one audience. did in Kumasi with us. Miss Jennifer. Miss Jennifer. Yeah. yeah, even the girl. Yeah, because she, so, she said she didn't have a channel. Yeah. But you have to create, create one. a channel. Yeah. We've done so many of that. Uh, in Gambia, we created the first ever YouTube channel wow. for an African diaspora to talk about Gambia. Yeah. We also um, met this girl called Aisetu. She also started vlogging. Mm -hmm. There's so many people that I think would be inspired. Because me, I have just one goal yeah. is to promote Africa to the world. Mm -hmm. So if I meet someone who is capable of promoting Africa to the world, yeah. all I do is to mm -hmm. give him an audience, bring you up, and then you take over and do your thing. So basically, this is what I enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not here for the numbers, I'm here for impact. impact That's yeah. it. So, um, and I don't blame big YouTubers sometimes, it's, okay. it's tough to get out there. Yeah. Very tough to get out there. So when <laughs> you get out there, I mean, you just feel like taking everything for yourself, and uh, and sometimes mm -hmm. the small YouTubers sometimes yeah, they don't have the patience. They don't, they don't, they don't have patience. Like I like I can imagine like the number of messages I receive every day. So the newbie that into this platform. I I want to tell each and everyone out there, especially content creators. I mean, upcoming content creators. Okay. Um, you just have to know that content creation. It's not as easy as it is. Mm -hmm. So when you're entering into this world, know that first of all you have to be yourself. Okay. Stay consistent. So Even consistency. consistency is the major key. Even if you are not getting the views, stay consistent. Mm -hmm. Because it takes only one video yeah. to blow up. I mean I mean these are the, my my secret. Wow. I stay consistent. So just, God gave us his secret to I'm, I'm just today. being me. Yeah. Don't don't try to be somebody else. Of course. Because if you always try to be someone else, you can't continue. So stay true to yourself. Be do, do your thing. You definitely get it. It's a pleasure talking yeah, to you. Yeah, it's a pleasure. And don't forget to subscribe and be part of this awesome family. Yeah. I am my and um from Nigeria, we'll be heading to Namibia, oh, Namibia to Angola, and um, yeah, we'll be in the, we are really out for the business. Yeah, we are, we'll be in the southern Africa. I know it's a goal to travel the whole of Africa, 